Holy crap. Welcome back. Now, I know some of you are probably waiting for the update on how to make bulletproof glass. And I got something coming for you, possibly a collaboration and a little bit more informative how to, um, you know, make certain types of, of bulletproof glass and how to adhere certain types of, of glass uh, together. So that's coming up. But for this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try out some um, level three rifle rated plates that I've been working on. So we're gonna take the fiberglass. This is woven roving. It's an 18 ounce fiberglass. I take 25 layers of this and I press it to make these 10 by 12 savvy plates, shooters cut. And as you've seen in, in previous videos, this thing has stopped everything except the rifle rounds. The videos are out there for this, so you can take a look and see what this has stopped. But now we're going on to rifle rated plates, so right away, um, as many of you know, tile is probably the best thing for the buck. But we're going for level three, I wanna stop 308. So we've created some plates. I used the thickest tile, single piece tile that I could find, it's porcelain tile. And then I have two alternatives here. So we, just so I could show you, this is the tile plate. So we have the fiberglass behind it and tile in front, kind of cut, cut them into shapes, cut them so we could see if it could take multi, multiple hits. And then the next plate I tried was concrete. And then the last one that I'm really interested in is this little guy here. You might be able to see kind of the honeycomb shape but we have made some resin discs that go in here every, every so often. These are all right around 5 8 inch thick. I was trying to get them around half inch thick so that the total thickness of this would be right around one inch. Um, we're just, just over one inch of thickness on these. Not sure, not sure if the resin will be able to handle the impacts of you know, the 5.56, the speed of the 5.56, and the pure energy of the 308. But we're going to take them out to the range. We're going to hit them. We're going to see what we have. <laughs> okay, so we're out at the range to go ahead and test out these hopefully level 3 plates. Uh, went ahead and brought a plate carrier to show you that these things do fit inside. Standard plate carrier, 8.5 by 11. This is the concrete one. We went ahead and decided to throw in a little extra. This is a smaller plate, eight by 10. We got some eighth inch AR500 and Kevlar in the back. We're gonna see how this compares. Uh, obviously we couldn't do a, a curve at, like we do with the other ones, a single curve. But we're gonna go ahead and see how these all perform. We got some clay just to see in case. We got some nice weather, not too windy. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the, probably with the resin one. We'll start with the resin one, see how this does, and just keep on going through. Okay, once again, we're starting with the resin plate. We'll be shooting some 762 by 39, 129, I'm sorry, 123 full metal jacket out of the Ruger American. This is the lightest plate, so let's see what it can do. We'll go for the top, top left of the plate. Okay, clear. Okay, instead of walking back and forth a million times, we're gonna go ahead and just hit it with the 5.56, 55 grain full metal jacket. And, uh, See what it does with this one. We'll go for the right side. Okay, so here we go, 762 by 39 and 556. This little rubber piece we're using as a skin, and I can tell you already, 
they went through. Absolutely went through. Oh yeah. Okay, so resin and fiberglass. Doesn't look like it's gonna work. We'll just deconstruct this and see what ended up happening inside. But on to the concrete. Let's go ahead and do the concrete next. Now we're gonna go ahead, step it up, hopefully to the concrete and fiberglass. We're gonna start out with the 556, and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, do 762, and then we'll go down there and check it, see if this one can handle it. So here we go. Try it for the left edge. Holy smokes. That was very left edge. Okay, 762 by 39. We're gonna try for the right side. Hopefully more centered and hopefully more off the edge. Whoa! Doesn't look like the concrete's gonna work either. This one was an absolute edge shot, but it's not stopping 762 by 39 anyway. So I am gonna just say, let's move on to the tile. Okay, so 0 for 2 so far. Let's see if third time's a charm. We got some tile and fiberglass up there. Let's go ahead and start with the 762 by 39 and see. And then we'll do 556 five, right away and then we'll go down there and check them. Okay, here we go. We will try for the left side on this one. Okay. And now we got the 556. Five, we will try to shoot on the right side, I guess. That was way low. Okay, 762 by 39, 556 five, right on the crease, but we did not get anything to go through. Nothing. So, finally get to step this one up a little bit. We will shoot 308 and go from there. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and step it up to 762 by 51, M80, full metal jacket, 308. We will try to hit it on a good part of the plate. So let me start the recording down there. We are gonna to go top right. Whew, that's where I wanted it. Let's go check. Okay, so safe to say I hit it on the perfect part of that. And if you look inside, it doesn't look like it did even too much damage right there. Did it go through? Nope, not even close. So we finally have something we could throw some specialty rounds at. So let's go ahead and try some of that. All right, so next up, some of the specialty threats we have are gonna be the M855, regular green tip. And after that, we're gonna go ahead and just shoot it with an M1A1, I mean 855A1. A little bit harder penetrating tip and we'll see what it does from there. All righty, here we go. We'll start with the green tip. On the bottom left, and M1A on the bottom right. Okay, 
clear. Okay, so that was about an inch from the edge, the green tip right there. And here's the A1. Let's see what we were able to do. Ooh, ooh, looks like the A1 went through. The green tip was stopped, but the A1 went through. Alrighty, since we have some fresh meat on here, I think we'll hit it with a 30-06 and even a light penetrating mild steel 762 by 39. Okay, so next up, we're going to be shooting some of this surplus mild steel core 762 by 39. Another special threat. We'll see how this plate does with this one. And for this one, I'm thinking we'll shoot the top left. Woo! Clear. Holy crap. Okay. So that's where that one hit. As you can see, pretty much disintegrated the tile, but did not go through. And look at this, we just now found, uh, it is hot, the round from the 762 by 39. Mild steel core, disintegrated the front, hot. Okay, moving on. All right, we're gonna go ahead and hit this with the 30-06 full metal jacket, 150 grain. So basically, very similar to the 762 by 51. This one's just gonna be traveling a few hundred feet, feet per second more. We're gonna try to hit it on the right side this time and see, see what she does. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Clear. So I would say this is the part of the plate that I hit the 30 out six on. There's not much left on this plate. Oh, but that was its limit. The 30 out 6 went through. Stops 308. But those few hundred feet per second more. Oh, well, that's interesting. A lot of the jackets in the back. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and redo the clay and bring out our last, uh, last little challenge here. All right, so up there we got our last plate. And I only have one shot left of M80 762 by 51, the 308 full metal jacket. So we're gonna go ahead and start with that. Once again, that's an eighth inch of AR500 steel with about 24 layers of K29 Kevlar behind it. So let's see if that can stop. The 308. Woo. Well, as you can see, it definitely went through the AR500 and through the Kevlar. Ouch! That's a big old hole. <laughs> Alrighty, so.
So during the teardown of the resin plate, I noticed both shots just happened to hit the edge of two of those little tiles. Both of them went straight through, possibly a uh, design flaw. However, I think I'll take this plate back out and try to hit them directly on the discs and see if I can have the same round stop. Now, moving on to the concrete strike face, they held together quite well, but um, very ductile, but didn't have much as far as strength in stopping the projectile. So either I need to do a new design for the concrete or just m stay with the tile. Now moving on to the AR500 plate with Kevlar behind it. I had used two pieces of material that I had previously shot. So I was trying to avoid areas and I noticed I went ahead and ended up sending one of the shots right next to uh, a placement of another shot. So we may have to revisit this again in the future um, wasn't a fair test for this plate and finally this level three that that did three plus i guess it did stop a green tip m855 556 so i guess that's a specialty round it also stopped a chinese surplus mild steel core 762 by 39 that was up here the 308 30-06, this thing was severely compromised by, by that point. That, and it's probably traveling quite a bit faster, quite a bit closer. So anyway, here is, here's what we have underneath. Very minimal damage, minimal. For the 308 hit and this is at 15 yards lastly i wanted to add we are still thinking about what we're going to do with the bulletproof glass so let us know in the comments what you guys are thinking we've also designed some little resin shots From, from some testing we've done in the past. Again, these are just hollow points. So that concludes this video. I do wanna let you know, we do have some alternatives to ballistic gel that we're gonna be testing out. So, and then we have the Bulletproof Glass possible collaboration that we have coming up. So stay tuned, like, subscribe, and let me know what you think and we'll keep it going.